Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here we are back with a new interesting video that is how to use the Python F strings. Okay. Now I know that most of you know that how to use Python F strings, what are the uses of Python F strings? Okay. F string stands for formatted strings, but I can bet that from this video, one or two uses of F string you will not know. Okay. Now let's just start with the basic uses of the F string. Okay. Now, so the basic use of the F string is that if we have two or three or multiple variables with us and we have to use all the multiple variables in a single line, in a single string. So for printing all of them, uh, explicitly we will need to do like this. Suppose if you have greeting, so we have to do like this. We'll do hello, then my name is now after is if i have to print the name then i'll put comma then i'll write name then again comma okay then if i have to write and i am okay then after m if i have to write the age so i'll do like this then again i'll open the double quotes and then old okay now this is a simple way of printing a normal string with two variables now this is so much hectic we have to use two commas for name then two commas for age then open the double quote then close the double quote instead of that what we can do instead of that we can use the formatted f string okay and how we can use the f string just before the opening uh double quote you have to just add f with no space between the double quote and the f so it will be a formatted string now and then you have to just simply write all the string all the sentences all the alphabets which you want and then when it is the time for printing the value what you are misprinting the variable what you will do inside the curly braces you write the name of that variable okay so just like name so for name there is alice so name for age there is 30 so direct the age now when i'll print greeting so you will see hello my name is alice and i am 30 years old so this is the very basic example of how to use the f strings okay now let's just go forward and let's see the that embedding expressions okay what do you mean by embedding expressions now inside the f strings we can perform our operations some little operations arithmetic operations or some other operations also now how we can perform that operations so let's see see we have length and width suppose for a rectangle and what we have to do we have to just print the area of that rectangle okay so what we can do either we can take a area separately and in that we can make length into width or what we can do using the s string we'll take one area object in that we will print the area of the rectangle is and then just like how we print the variable inside the curly braces just will do the length into width length asterisk is used for multiply i hope this is very common so length asterisk width then the rest of the value that it is a square units and then let's just print the area and you will get that 5 into 3 is 15 square units so simply you will just print the area of the rectangle is 15 square units so this is how you can just directly did the calculation inside the a string okay now let's go forward let's see the next thing that is formatting numbers okay now you will be surprised to know that f strings also allows you to format the numbers now how to format the number suppose we have a pi with us it is a constant okay so there is no constant concept uh, concept in python but on the top of the code you can define a constant pi okay now we have defined a pi constant and the value of the pi is 3.14159 265 3589793 okay now this is the exact value of the pi this is the exact value of the pi okay and we have to just use till this value 14 so for that what we can do now for that we can use the f string now let's see how we can use the f string so f string pi rounded to two decimal places is now inside the curly braces we just wrote the name of the variable pi okay now see the syntax specified with a colon then the dot operator okay colon and the dot operator and then we have given two two float values so this dot operator is giving us that till two float values just print the pi okay so when i'll print it you can see 3.14 now you can change this 2 to 3 also so then you will get 142 okay he just rounded up it was 
one five but because it was the greater value it, it was five so it just rounded one to five okay so this is how you can do it you can format the numbers also now let's come to the next use of the python uh, formatted strings that is we can use functions also inside a strings okay means we can call our functions inside the string now how we can do that it is very simple let's suppose we have created a simple function greet name we are taking a parameter name and we are just printing hello and that particular name okay now inside the string what we have done inside the curly braces only we have just write the how to call a function just write the name of the function and if it is taking a parameter just give the value for that parameter means just give the argument so greet then the name Alice and let will let's print storing it in message object. Let's print the message. Okay. So we can call the functions also inside a string. So a strings has the ability to call the functions inside them also. Now let's come to the next thing that is multi-line f strings. Okay. Now I'm sure that most of you guys will not know about this. That we can use multi-line f strings okay now how we can use this and then in the last i'll print i'll just print the type of that info also so that to let you know that what is the type okay so there is name there is age okay and we have to use multi-line f strings means we have to use multiple f strings so for that what we will do we'll take one variable or object name okay info then in the parenthesis we'll enclose our f strings and then will give multiple f strings for name i have taken one f string name name for age i have taken another and then you can see i have using the backslash n for generating the new line okay and then i am printing location wonderland and i'll print info okay so now you will see we have getting a multi line f string and without any error now if i'll remove this so you will see that it will come in the same line mint it is not treating as a separate line it is treating as the same line only okay so so that we have used the backslash n to generate int in your new line okay now let me print the type also so that you guys will tell that it is a tuple or anything other than that so you can see it is of a class str only okay so this is how you can use the multi-line f string also and it is not going to give you any error because it will be treated as the same line only okay now let's go to the next thing that is combining f strings with other string formatting okay so now one more thing that in python uh the f strings are not only the way to format a string there are more ways also there is one format method also so now let's see that how we can use a string with other format methods also or other formatting techniques also so we have name and age what we'll do we'll use the name to print with the f string and then we'll use the age to print with the format use of the format function so let's see how we can do the concatenation between these two different techniques of formatting the string so first of all this thing we know that using the f string which is simply easily printed the name now plus now between the strings the plus operator is act as a concatenation operator that we already know now see how we are printing how we are doing the concatenation between these two using the format function age inside the string we have taken the age and we have mentioned the area the area where we are going to use our age variable okay then dot format and in this format we are going to apply the variable name age and let's print the combine so now you will see name alice and age 30 the same thing is getting printed but we just used the f string and the format function both together okay means we just combine the f string with this format method also so this can also be done using the f strings so these were all the useful techniques of using uh techniques you can say or the features you can say of s strings so i hope key i hope that you are going to use this all the techniques in your day-to-day -day programming that will make your programming very easy so that's all for today thanks for watching the video i hope this video finds very useful for you